Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So there's been a patch on the previous server and we can see an update to the calendar. We can actually see there'll be a new companion being introduced within the next celebration of Lyra event. And this companion we can see will be the Joy Dancer of Lyra. This is going to be pretty good for those of you who are healers. Having one of the best offensive having one of the best equip powers again keep in mind it's all open to change it's still the previous server but you can see it's going to be slotting in defense or offense or utility so any slot and giving you three percent outgoing healing on epic this most likely like all other companions will scale up to 7.5 percent outgoing healing when on mythic that for healers alone is going to be pretty massive just being able to slot in one of these slots here for a pure bonus to outgoing healing, much like we have with the Golden Boulet pop. You might not even need this new companion, but you might not have the Golden Boulet and you could use it, let's say if you were to copy my build, instead of this, or you could have it slotted in here instead of power and then have, let's say, potency here instead of reinvigorate, since that can be a little bit easier to proc just by attacking something. And looking at the companion's powers, well, yeah, it's an augment companion, surprise. Surprisingly, and uh, simply just like the bullet pop will give essentially bonus to outgoing healing shared with its owner, which means it's giving nearly 30,000 outgoing healing rate <laughs> as a companion. This just means that it's basically entirely <laughs> replacing the golden bullet pop as like a choice between having it summoned or not. Still, all these things are open to change as this is still just the preview server. And overall, there's our new companion, the Joy dancer will definitely be something you'll want to grind for potentially get a bunch of them hold on to them and then sell them on a later date lira event it's pretty much just a participation event every day they should be very easy to obtain especially on multiple characters again we're gonna have to see if they update anything else we can look through the rest of the stuff here there will be a new celestial bear now it doesn't look like much right now but i assume it's going to be up dated in its visuals this probably just being a placeholder doesn't seem like anything special with just explosive equalizer and dash of life but again we'll have to see these things are still in the works and i just wanted to showcase them to you now as you may have seen already we're going to have a limited time campaign on the wings of dragons gets me a little bit excited as towards potentially flying mounts but to be honest, I think they would really make a lot of marketing if that was going to be the case in the game. It's something I would hope would be introduced eventually. We do have mechanics like the grappling hook, you're moving around vertically on the map, and flying mounts would definitely be a step towards having that extra joy with regards to navigating throughout maps. It's just the maps aren't designed too well for flight in mind. Keep in mind we'll be getting a bunch of free items two days after module 23 launches. This will be on the Thursday and the module should be launching on the Tuesday bunch of guild events here as well keep in mind you can make a lot of profit off that and the protectors jubilee event we can see it still retains the same description as you've seen before doesn't seem like there's going to be much update to that we will definitely be seeing a new throne there the throne of entwined scales and otherwise a teensy weensy harper agent vanity pet and apparently we'll be able to get some dragon bone veil fashion sets from there as well we can see leaps and bounds july 14th and coins of joaquin july 14th as well again nothing here that looks too appealing other than some fashion stuff we've already seen before and you can see it on the live server within the game they have done some additional updates like the new tiamat set i will go over that in its own dedicated video explaining how it works now and overall still working on my tank build i will be coming out very shortly my new dps build with my rogue where yeah i'm pretty much ditching accuracy and you'll see why so again i hope this is some insight for you guys just a short announcement mainly for those healers to make sure to hold off on buying potentially a golden bullet or some other companion you may still need to rank up again i'd like to give a special thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going never present as well consider leaving video like if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now